Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cash stuffing and today I will be stuffing $530. This video is going to be my paycheck, so this is my part-time job and also my Etsy income. I've decided to combine the two because I have started using my Etsy income and some of my YouTube paycheck to pay for my bills and necessities since I've been working less. And I get paid from Etsy on Mondays and I get paid from my part-time job on Fridays, bi-weekly for both, and they lined up like perfectly, so they're in the same week. So when I get paid from Etsy, I just hold on to that money until um, Friday and Saturday when I can fill my cash stuffings. I just put them together because they are small and sometimes like there's no point in filming two separate videos. So that's what I've been doing. So let's go ahead and start with my bills binder. So rent will be getting 95. So 50, 70, 95. So this should make this fully funded. So rent has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, nine fifty, nine seventy, nine ninety. Oh gosh. One thousand ten, thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, one ten, one thirty, one fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy-five, eighty. 30, 50, 70, 90. 110, 130, 150, 60, 70, 75, 80. So 1,180, which is our full rent payment, which is crazy, crazy, because I'm filming this on March 2nd, and you guys are seeing this a week later because I'm posting this a week later, but I'm filming this on March 2nd. My rent was due on the 1st, and I had paid that, and now I have all of this for April 1st already. Like, this is for April 1st, and it's March 2nd. So, am I a month ahead on rent now? I think I am. I don't know how that happened, but with all of my bills, I try to be at least one paycheck ahead. So, like, I stuff half, like, for Logan's, he stuffs half of his car payment from one paycheck and the other half from another, and then the bill is due. So, he's not pulling, like, the full amount out from one paycheck, so I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry, but oh my gosh, I think we're a month ahead on rent. I did not mean for that to happen at all. I was not planning on that. Yay, that's exciting. That is so exciting, I'm so happy. Okay, um, I'm not gonna pay that yet though. I'm just gonna save it until um, I have to pay it. Cause then with this, I like to do bill condensing, so. I'm going to skip these car payments because those are Logan's and I'm going to go to savings. So savings is getting five. So now in savings we have 500 in the bank, 520, 40, 60, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 575 in savings super close to 600 that's exciting emergency is also getting five actually maybe i should take a better oh you know what i forgot to do my wallet again we'll do that after this binder so emergency has 20 40 50 55 60 65 70 dollars And a month ahead is also getting five. So a month ahead has 500 in the bank, 600, 700, 800, 850, 855, 860, 865 in month ahead. Okay, and that is all for this binder. Next, I'm gonna do my wallet. All right, so for my wallet, this coffee money stays in there. So coffee is getting $12. I like to do that in two fives and, oh, these are all really good ones. Okay, this might be super like annoying, but I'm gonna take some gross ones and like switch them out. But I don't have any like, You know what? Never mind. Because I thought in that miscellaneous envelope I had some and now I'm not in the mood to like dig around. So 
it's okay. Maybe it it will make me not want to spend these. So, 5, 10, 11, 12. So now coffee has 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, this is from my cash stuffing last week. I'm uh, keeping this in there. And then groceries is next. So normally I put 250 for two weeks, but we had already spent the first half. So obviously uh, we use our debit card, so that's like not getting pulled out. So the leftover is 115. So I did that in a 50. 320s and a 5. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 115 for groceries. And that is all for my wallet. Next, we're going to go on to variable expenses. I love this binder so much. And also this black one, it's from Jasmine's Wallet. And it's just so pretty it has a zipper in the back it just i i think i was originally saying that i wanted all mo terms for my binders but i think i want all my binders to be these because these are just so pretty so definitely go check out her shop she has a website i'll link it below um we're gonna go to toiletries which is getting five so now toiletries has five ten eleven twelve And then rainy day is going to get five and that's all that it has this is for like this could mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people but for us it's like sometimes we're just bored and we have nothing to do and we want to go shopping and spend money so that's what this envelope is for for us that doesn't have to be what it is for you so now miscellaneous is getting 35 so for this envelope, I really have no like, this is just extra money to have just in case like an emergency comes up or something. I don't know, because I also do have that emergency envelope in my bills binder, but like I was sick for three days, so I missed work on Friday and I only work on Fridays. So my paycheck is literally going to only have one day on it instead of two, which yikes so maybe this money could like help with that a little bit so miscellaneous now has 20 30 40 45 50 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 57 which that is not a full day's pay for me but it's okay like at least i have this um so yeah i don't know we'll see these past few paychecks from my part-time job have actually been decent like they have not been super low just because I've uh, had some extra days that I wasn't going to clinical, so I, I went to work, and then I also had, on President's Day, we had to go in even though we were closed, and we did a training, so I got paid for that, so that was good, but the next one on March 15th, my March 15th paycheck, I don't think will be too big, so we will see. Next. The only envelope in here getting stuffed is my envelope for Japan, and that's getting 20. So now Japan has 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215, 220. I wanted way more in here, but it's okay based on my circumstances and my paychecks. So that is all for this binder. Next is my personal binder. So in here we are going to stuff nails and nails is going to get 10. So now nails has 10, 15, 16, 17. Hair is getting five. So now hair has five, 10, 15. Skincare is also getting five. All of these envelopes are going to be like getting $5. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
So now skincare has 5, 10, 15. Clothing is getting five. So now clothing has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. Oh my God. All of these bills are like really bad. Planning is getting five. So now planning has 10. My envelope for Logan is getting five. I'm saving up for his birthday in August. So I have 50, 55, 60. Good amount in this envelope. Books is getting five. So now I have $10 in books. And beauty is getting five. So now I have five, 10, 15. Okay, and that is it for this binder. The last one is my business binder. So in here, we're gonna stop inventory, which is getting 35. So 20, 35. So now inventory has 50, 70, 85. And then equipment is next. And this is going to be getting $5. So now I have 20, 40, 45, 50. So for this, this is like equipment, like a new laminator or a new printer or a new whatever for my business. I don't plan on getting anything right now. I do want to get a new tripod though for my desk for YouTube. So I might honestly spend out of this envelope, even though it's for YouTube and not Etsy, but like, it's fine. It's fine. So Canva Pro is getting five. Oh, I don't have a five. Okay. So I had in my last cash stuffing, I had an extra $15 right here. And I didn't know why. And I thought it was because I miscounted the fives I needed for that cash stuffing. And these belong in this cash stuffing, if that makes sense. So I think they might. So I'm just gonna put that here and grab a five. So now Canva Pro has $55. I have the annual subscription and it's not due until September. It's $120, so we're doing good on that. And last is, why do I have, I don't know, maybe not. Last is taxes. So this is for my YouTube taxes. This is for Etsy. I honestly don't know why I made two separate envelopes. I already did my taxes and um, I will explain my whole thing, my whole tax refund in a separate video. So I'm not sure when that will be posted. It might be posted before this video, but I have to obviously wait until I get my refund. So I will explain like how that worked because obviously I still have these placeholders in here and I still have all this money. So, um, yeah, I was really shocked when I did my taxes. I was not expecting like what happened. So, um, I will explain all that in a separate video. I will be combining these envelopes though, because I just want one envelope for my YouTube and Etsy taxes since when I file, it's all going together. So in my tax refund video, I will like put them together. But for now, I'm going to keep them separated. I'm going to put, why do I have this? I must have done something wrong. Oh, 25. I'm not sure why I have an extra 25. Let's, I'm gonna figure that out in a second. So Etsy taxes is getting 110, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that's all I have in cash. In the bank, I have 1,000. So total for Etsy taxes, I have 1,118. Okay, that is supposed to be it for my cash stuffing. I just don't know why I have um, the extra 25. This one is so ripped. So I have like a little sheet on the side like of what I budgeted and how much, like what categories they go to. Okay, I tried looking. I honestly have no idea. This might have had to stay in the bank, but I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna keep it to the side. See, sometimes that happens. 
Um, so that is all for this cash stuffing video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video.